Denise Butchko, Butchko and Company, shoe storage, angled, flat, or cubbies. And, you know, we just got to start with a rare setting, which is Cubs win, cubbies, yay, north side of Chicago. But back to shoes. Since shoes are so important, we're going to address some additional storage options to keep them accessible and looking beautiful. Lots of people see and then want angled shoe shelves. I can see why. They're pretty. They also allow you to see more of your shoe at a glance, which is a plus. The countersides to pretty are angled shoes are more expensive than flat, adjustable shelves. Angled shoe shelves take up more space than flat, adjustable shelves. And angled shoe shelves can pretty much be used for shoes. Mm, perhaps magazines. But who stores magazines in their closets? If you do, I do not want to hear it. So if you need to maximize every inch, or your client thinks that they're going to resell their home in, say, the next five years, I recommend flat, adjustable shelving. Not romantic, super effective. And regarding cubbies, unless you are referring to the Northside Chicago baseball team, the short answer for shoes is, I'm really not a fan. I'm all about being organized and have said for years that an organized life is easier to live. But cubbies, to me, are over-organized. When shoe styles change and now you have wedge sandals and you can only fit in one per cubby, you know, not so great. And what else are you going to store in those cubbies? Don't say magazines. I've done one, count them one, master closet with shoe cubbies in my over 10 years of designing, and that was because the client absolutely insisted. Just because an idea looks like a good one doesn't mean that it always is. However, I've got another really good idea for you if you want to learn more about closet design. In addition to my book, How to Design a Walk-in Closet, I've got an online course Closet Design 101. It's a three-part online, on-demand, do-at-your-own-pace course. You get a complete guide to designing filled with tips, concrete tips, or hardwood tips uh, for the best approaches to use. And really cool, after you complete each lesson, you schedule an individual coaching session with me. So we go over the assignments, go over the lesson, get a chance to know each other, and actually really increase the odds of you progressing through the course and getting a good, solid foundation. And that's really what I want. You're also going to, well, and that's what you want, too. It's not about what I want. Um, you're also going to get design exercises that will really test your design muscle, not your stomach muscles, but that's okay, too, uh, so that you can see how you're progressing. At the end of the first session, you're going to be able to effectively design a reach-in closet. You're going to be able to incorporate the needs of the client and understand how to work around basic obstacles. You're going to know what you need to record and which measurements you need to take in order to effectively design a solution for your client. And you're going to have an amazing understanding of common industry terms and structures that are utilized in everyday closet design. At the end of the second session, you'll be able to effectively design a basic walk-in closet, which should be able to include as many of the items on your client's wish list as possible, and you'll have guidelines on the best places to locate things like shoe shelves, drawers, double hang, long hang. And in the third session, you'll be more confident in taking on even more complex design scenarios, like walk-in closets that have lots of obstacles, or specific budgetary parameters that the builder has given you or the designer or the client. This particular picture, this reach-in closet, really over-designed, nine obstacles. But I'll save that story for another time. How do you find out about all of this? Copy and paste this link. Go to my website, butchgoandcompany.com. Look for the B2B side, which is the training side, 
and there'll be a little button called Closet Design 101. You can check it out, register, and even get started right away. I look forward to meeting you, learning about your design challenges, and helping you bring the best designed closet space possible out into the world and into the closets of your clients. I'm Denise Butchko, Butchko & Company.